If you ever have any question that your dough is too wet, this is a perfect example. Um, I don't think I mismeasured, but maybe these eggs were bigger because there are four eggs in this recipe. So maybe the eggs were bigger and it made a lot more liquid because this is a recipe for my brioche that I make all the time. So see, even if you weren't sure about this part, do you see that? I'm gonna get my finger out of the way, but there's like a layer under the, right there. Oops, can't get my finger to, right there. That is classic too wet. Even if you're not sure about this part, if you have that layer under the paddle, that's definitely too wet. Add more flour, about a tablespoon, 10 grams, whatever, at a time, and um, then let it go for a couple minutes and look again. So, I know you can't see because of the glare and the window that gets dirty with every, every time you make bread, but look at this. Now this is brioche. It has four eggs and like a stick and a half or more of butter. So it is, you can see the grease on my hands. It is a wet buttery dough. So it is no longer sticky. I mean, it's greasy, but it's not sticky. Look at, see, it's pretty much totally clean under there. So this dough ball is ready. I ended up adding about two tablespoons plus about another teaspoon-ish to this dough. So you've gotta be a little patient. You've gotta watch it. What I do, because my machine has a rest time of 23 minutes on the dough cycle, I set a timer for 28 minutes. That's 23 minutes of rest or preheat, and then five minutes of kneading. So this machine over here, I have three of them all together. Um, this timer, oh, we have 13 seconds left, so basically I'm gonna turn that off. Um, it is time to check this dough, and we'll see if this one also needs extra flour. Okay, this butter didn't get mixed in yet, but it's nice and soft. I'm just gonna squish it in there. Um, this one is a little wet. Oddly enough, it is not. I'm going over here to get some flour may not need as much maybe i who knows but it's the goldilocks thing sometimes it's too wet sometimes it's too dry sometimes it's just right i will show you this one in a minute okay so i added a little bit less flour to this one um the other one i added i think two tablespoons plus a, like a teaspoon or so this one i added about two tablespoons without that extra teaspoon ish it just wasn't quite as wet, but it was still too wet. And you'll notice that this is clean. I mean, not clean, but you know what I mean. It doesn't have a layer of dough. Um, little bits on the side like that are not what we're talking about. It's when it's pooled on the bottom and there's no dough ball. Um, some recipes make a beautiful smooth dough ball because this has so much butter. 171 grams of butter is a lot. It's like a stick and three quarters. I mean, it's a lot. Um, it, it never gets to be super smooth dough ball, but this is what you want for a brioche, or at least for my brioche recipe. So the moral of the story, I'm gonna close this. The moral of the story is that <laughs> if you want to use the timer function, the delay, so that you're gonna wake up to fresh bread, you have two options. You can set it, forget it, and hope that you have a nice loaf of bread in the morning. You may, you may not. Or you can set a start time and set an alarm, get up, check your dough, fix it up if it needs to be either, either liquid or flour added, and then go back to sleep. I know some people can't go back to sleep. I can, I can get up and go back to sleep and get up and go back to sleep a hundred times. I mean, not the most restful, obviously, but I can do that. Here's the other one, by the way. This brioche is so wet that it still does that, but that's okay. Other doughs would not do that. It would just be a smooth ball. So again, you must check your dough five minutes into kneading. And if you're setting your bread machine when you go 
out and you're not gonna do that, be aware that your bread may not turn out right. It's just how it is. Don't mean to be mean about this, you guys, but I want you to be successful with your baking. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. You can ask me questions. You can go to my website, ellensbreadmachinerecipes.com. ellensbreadmachinerecipes.com. Bye.